We got basic stat card set, obviously. 10% basic stats. Bro, this team is going to have, what is that? Like, what is that? 70% basic stats? 70% basic stats is crazy, right? 30 from Liz, right? Because she is uh, LR, right? Because if you look at her passive, she's giving up to 30% basic stats. Uh, Deanne's going to be giving 30% basic stats. And then Melly himself, he's going to have over like 100% basic stats. And then Demon King, he's going to have yeah the 70 that everyone else would have. So yeah, this is this is looking pretty good, guys. Let's give this team a shot. Um, we do got, uh, what is that? Attack crit on Melly, attack crit on Demon King, triple defense on Deanne. And then uh, HP defense on the Elizabeth right there. I'll, pu I'll put Deanne to the far left as well. All right, let's hop in. Let's see. Is she going to be good on Nidahog? Do we not need to run goddesses any longer? Is this the setup? Let's see, man. Let's really see. I'm curious. The, the one thing I want to know is if her attack related stats in her passive that says PVE works on Demonic Beast. Because if it does, then that's really, really good. Because, you know, uh, Elizabeth says PVE but works in Demonic Beast. But then, uh, you know, other things, they don't really mention if they work in Demonic Beast or not, right? Um, so we'll see right here, guys. We'll see right here. Alrighty. So, and, and another good thing about Deanne's taunt is it's always a two turn taunt, guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me remove the chat for a sec, just to show you guys. But look at that, two turns uh, taunt right there. Two turn, bro, two turn. That That's insane, right? Um, two turn on the rank one is crazy. So yeah, man, I mean, that that's obviously really, really good. All right, let's do a uh, uh, stance right here. Let's do this card right here. Let's do AoE, AoE, easy, right? Let's see, let's see. So we uh, taunt up with Dian. Oh, and she does give it. She, she does give the attack-related stats. Oh my gosh, this character's broken. This character's broken. She does give the attack-related stats, guys. She does give the attack-related stats. So she works in, um, yeah, in, in Demonic Beast. She works in all PvE content. That's really good. Um, oh, that's the critical defense because she, because we got a uh, stance stripped. Ooh, I forgot we can't taunt up turn one as well, but hey. I mean, that's that's pretty good because it just instantly gives us the crit defense too. But let's see, uh, the crit defense buff. Yeah, 30% crit defense right there, guys. You can barely see it under the chat. 30% critical defense increase. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, that's definitely pretty nice. Um, All right, let's do this. Or you know what I'll do, actually? I'll push up Elizabeth ult. We'll do this. Um, And then I think I'll go for the kill now with Melly. I think, I think we can just kill now. Uh, I'm gonna do single target right there. I'm gonna merge this card as well. And uh, yeah, that's gonna get me ultimate on Liz so we can rush up another ult. And then we're gonna be able to full heal with that. And that should be pretty good. Yeah, so we insta kill with Melly. Look at that, bro. Crazy. And we probably have built up like a ton of basic stats too, right? Because we've already gotten hit on Melly, Demon King, and Liz. And that was like twice, I think. So that, that's pretty good, right? Um, we do get the rank up there on the DK. Let's do the uh, ultimate with Liz right there. Um, basic stat wise, I mean, we're looking kind of good. Uh, what are we looking at right now? 22k, uh, 36k defense, uh, 344k, uh, HP right there. Look at, look at Melly. Look at Melly. 526k HP, guys. That's pretty insane. That's pretty insane. All right, let's do this. Um, let's do, we don't have cancel stance. Yeah, yeah, we don't have cancel stance. We also don't have gauge reduction on this team. So that's the one thing that's like kind of lacking versus the other setup. Right, that's it. That's the one thing. Like the Red Queen Deanna has gauge reduction with pulverize, so that's a little bit better. But I think the thirty percent basic stats will make up for it, right? I, I think it will, chat. So let, let's do this. Let's do DK AOE. Let's do Deanna attack, and then we'll do Melly uh, stance removal, right? Let's do that. Um, and that's gonna give us an attack related buff from Liz. So we should be doing big damage right now. Yeah, I mean we should be hitting like if not a damage cap, we should be hitting like pretty close to that. So there we go. We go with the single target right there. 44k. Not bad. That gives us the attack related as well. Now the question is, does that attack related stack with the other one? It doesn't. I think... Okay, I think that one gets overridden by uh, LR Liz though. Okay, so that's uh, that's something I'm definitely noticing here. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's still, that still is good though. That still is obviously really good, right? Um, okay, let's do a uh, buff strip with Liz. We'll get our ultimate back. Um, we can drop the ultimate here with Deanne. I'll do the attack card here with the DK. And then, uh, yeah, we can do melee single target here. And that'll stand strip and we'll get a rank up as well. Let's do that. So we go, we buff strip. We drop the ultimate with DM. We don't have a stand, so it's not going to do a lot. 40k, not a lot of damage. Obviously, dupes will make this character a lot better, right? In terms of the healing on her ult. Um, but we don't need dupes, so we don't need. 
All right, so we do the single target melee. That's going to stand strip. We get the rank up. Uh, yeah, no, guys, this is looking pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie. This team setup uh, is definitely going to be a very, very strong setup for Nidhogg. Um, it's obviously a little bit slower than Goddess team, so it's kind of just like another option. But I think it's pretty good. Honestly, do think this is a pretty good team um, overall, right? So let's do... Uh, oh, yeah, if we, so if we stand up... If we stance up, we just give 10% attack related stats to everybody too. That's another thing as well, guys, which is tight, which is pretty nice. Um, and if we get a rank two of this diamond shield as well, we can take the enemy's gauge that way. So in a way, she actually does have gauge reduction. Um, I guess because her it's her taunt that has the gauge reduction, right? Not the attack card like the red Dian. Okay, that's still good. Uh, King Beast, what's up, man? And suck, welcome to the stream as well. All right, we are just doing Nidhogg with the new Queen Dian, man. All right, let's do uh, DK ultimate here. Uh, let's, uh, yeah, no, because we have a rank three melee card, right? So we're good. So we can just waste this. Um, we can waste this as well. And then, yeah, no, I'm going to waste this single target with DK as well. I mean, we're good. We're good to move on to the next phase, right? Um, and our lowest HP is Queen Deanne, so she'll get targeted as we finish out the fight. So we're good, guys. We're good. Um, I think what I might do here... Oh, we did get a rank 2. Look at that. Yeah, no. So, guys, the way the rank 2 works, right, it's just like Excalibur Arthur, right, the uh, red one. So, it's going to be depleting the uh, ultimate move gauge on the enemy who use the skill by one orb. So, whenever they attack into us, they're going to lose gauge, which is really good. So, uh, whenever we're facing Nidhogg and we want him to lose an ultimate, we can actually just put up the stance at rank 2 and he'll lose gauge, which I think is pretty good tech. All right, let's do... Um, we'll put up the stance now then, yeah, I mean, we might as well. We'll drop ultimate with melee. I'm gonna do the... I'll merge this, and then next turn I think we'll go for it. I think next turn we'll go for it. Let's enter, let's enter. I threw 150 on the banner and no luck, I'm ashamed. Dang, Ace. Hopefully the luck does turn around, man. Uh, amazing, do you or anyone else in the stream with the permission have time to give the JP guild member role to me? Yeah, not at the moment, uh, King Beast, but if you message my moderators and it, whenever they're available, um, they'll definitely get to you, man, whenever they can. Um, so hopefully they do get to you, uh, relatively soon here. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's see, let's see the basic stats, guys. We, I think we have fully built up at this point. So we got 289k HP. Let me remove the chat for a sec, just so you guys can see the stats. 30k attack on DM, 33k defense, 500k HP. This is triple defense, by the way. Triple defense. We got Elizabeth on 31k, 28, 569. Melly's at 85k. 85k attack is crazy. And that's, and bear in mind, this is 10% attack related. If we, you know what I'll do then? You know what I'll do then, actually? I, I'm just, just for the showcasing the stats, I'm gonna ult now and I'm not gonna kill. I'm not gonna kill now. I'm gonna do this, and and I'm just gonna get all back. But I'm not gonna kill, guys. I just want to show you guys the basic stats. This is crazy. Uh, this is crazy. Let's see. So we do the attack right there. Um, so now we should have our our uh, what's it called? We should have the highest attack related stats possible, um, and the full basic stat build up. Melly's gonna have like an insane amount of stats, guys. Um, oh, I guess we're gonna run out of his all stats buff. So we will run out of that, but I mean, regardless, he's still going to have higher attack related, I think. Um, I think he will have higher attack related here. Let's see. Um, so let's see his stats. Yeah, so we do lose the uh, the all stats on melee, but 97k attack is crazy. 97k attack on melee on this team is crazy, guys. We don't see this often, right? We do not see this often. If I had his alt up too, that's another 15% all stats on top of that. That's like We're over 100k. Right, that's crazy, man. That is so crazy. Um, let's see DK though. Let's see DK real quick. Uh, he's at 78k attack on attack crit. Uh, non UR gear as well. Non UR gear, guys. Very, very crazy. All right, let's do the ultimate with Liz right there. Let's do Melly AOE, Melly AOE, uh, Melly single target, and we're done. Right, we're, we're we're instantly done. I suppose you could substitute her for Green Ellie. That's a possibility too. Um, Arthur might come the Thursday on JP. Not this Thursday. Um, but, ne well, yeah, no, next Thursday, next Thursday, guys, not this Thursday, that, that's what I mean, yeah, yeah, next Thursday, Arthur will be coming out, but there we go, guys, look at that, uh, pretty smooth run, right, like, I'll, I'm mainly showcasing to you guys what she's capable of, right, so she's obviously supporting the team, and that's what her value is on the team, she gives, you know, the, the extra basic stats, right, she's also giving attack-related 10%, so if I don't have a Liz all up, 
right? Like that's really good. Yeah, no, guys, this is a, this is a pretty good team. Honestly, if you wanted to run this on Nidhogg, by all means, man, you could go for this team right here. This is this is a pretty good pretty good setup, honestly. Um, let, let's get to floor three. Let's get to floor three. Try on the Demon King. Yeah, we'll definitely try that out as well. We'll do we'll do a Demon King run as well. Yo, amazing! I'm late today, and Chaos Arthur got leaked too. Yeah, I saw it, man. I saw it. Chaos Arthur did get leaked. Um, yeah, he, he's he's you know he's the next festival, man. Definitely start saving your currency, right? All right, let's do. Uh, we can stance up with Yan now. I think I think that's fine. Uh, or maybe we don't stance up actually. Maybe we don't stance up. I'm trying to think like how do I want to go about this? Um, cause I, maybe I want to get like a rank two stance going maybe like some sometime soon, right? Um, let's do this. And I will move Liz. Um, I do want to get her ultimate pushed up on. Uh, because once we get her ultimate, we can start cycling for the HP. And that's going to be really nice, right? Um, we do the AoE here with Melee. And that's going to do a good chunk of damage. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Now, because uh, that was with 10% attack related stats, right? So we definitely had that uh, uh, as well. Um, I mean, guys, look at the tanking. Look at the tanking on the team right now. That did a lot of damage, right? We're still building up basic stats. Right, Liz has not built up any basic stats yet. I mean, hey man, that's not bad. That's not bad, right? Um, okay, let's see here. How do we want to go about this? I'm thinking... Okay, yeah, so we definitely have to push up a, a Liz ult. I'm going to do this. I'm going to stance up with Dian so we get some damage reduction for the team. She'll also get some HP related. Um, and I think that could be pretty good. Um... I'm a little bit worried about DK here, because I don't know if he has enough tanking potential, especially after the enemy buffing up, so maybe I do a single target with DK as well. Um, I think we might rip one single target with DK then. Um, we will have a defense-related buff too, though, so I think we should be good. Alright, let's see. Defense-related buff, we get the ultimate with Liz right there. We do the single target uh, with DK. Let's see. Yeah, so he... Okay, DK. He doesn't like steal. Yikes, okay. Let's see, let's see. Do we tank this turn? Let's see, because he's going to buff up, right? So let, let's see if we tank this turn now. Alright, AoE. Okay, that did a good chunk of damage. If that's another level 2, that's, that might kill us. Very close, guys, but we do live. If, if I'm on HP defense on my DK instead, um, he's living, for sure. He's easily living. Right, like that, that's free. Uh, I'm going to do this, though. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do a melee. And I think we'll finish with full health going into the next phase. That should be pretty good. Because DK is going to get him kind of low. Um, he doesn't have damage cap on this phase, does he? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I don't know if Melly got it, actually. He, he should, though. He should. That's really low. Let's see. Okay, barely. I was about to close my game, guys. <laughs> I was about to close my game. Me Melly very, very close there. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, okay, so we're on this second phase here. So now we did get the crit defense. Remember, whenever Deanne loses her stance, the whole team gains critical defense. So right now, we're looking at 83k attack on melee. Um, you guys can't really see it because of the, the, cause of the chat right there. But yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Um, yeah, no, so we definitely want to do some cancel stancing, but we don't want to do it just like instantly though, right? Um, well, I guess we could actually. I guess we could. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. That'll cancel stance right there with melee. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And then... Oh, actually, no. You know what I'll do? I'll do this, this, melee cancel stance, and then I'll rip his ultimate. I think that could be pretty good. Um, because everyone's full HP here anyway, so I'm not necessarily worried about anyone really getting infected. Um, if anything, uh, melee will cleanse that and get his all creation back again anyway. So that's honestly better. So we do the single target right there. Boom, that's gonna stand strip. We drop ultimate. That's gonna apply two right there. Pretty good stuff. Alright, there we go. Let's see here. Single target onto Dian. 84k. Ultimate move seal right there. That's fine. D Dian's ultimate is not going to be as like substantial as like LR Liz, right? LR Liz ultimate is going to be a lot better to get off. Um, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, okay. So right here, what are we looking at stat wise? Pretty good. 700k HP is crazy. 700 HP, 700k is is crazy, right? Like that. That's that's insane. Okay, let's do. Um, we can do Liz ult now, right? We can do this. We can do melee stand strip now. And then, I guess we could waste, like, maybe DK AoE. Yeah, I think we could do that. Is Red Levi used on anything? Not really. Um, you can definitely run him for speedrunning on Deer and the Bird. Um, if you have a full human team ready, you can easily speedrun those two things, though. 
um, if you uh, did want to give that a try. There we go. We do kill right there, guys. So we're full health moving into this next phase here. Let's see what we're able to do, man. Um, we should be pretty good, though. Let's see. Okay, we do get a merge right there. No cleanse, though? No cleanse. Okay. Okay, Ma Mally obviously does cleanse a few every turn, which is okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's obviously not like a full cleanse or anything. So, um, yeah, we will do this card with Liz, though. Um, I will do uh, this card with Melly, And then, uh, I guess we could stance up now. Uh, but I feel like maybe waiting for a rank 2 stance could be better. What do I think? What do I think? Oh, I guess for the damage though. I guess for the damage though. Um, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's do that actually. We'll get ultimate on Melly as well. Because remember, we have to do 50% of the HP on the boss here, guys. So let's see. Single target. Okay, good damage. Let's see. Boom. Okay. Yeah, no. I mean, we're hitting hard. We're hitting really hard, guys. That's like damage cap like pretty much every time we're attacking. That's pretty good. That is pretty good right there, man. And Deanne looks lo looking like she's tanking really well too. Right? Like she seems like she's tanking really, really well. Um, yeah, so the AoE right there. Okay. Why are we not seeing her spin her hammer? It's not the Queen Deanne. It's the other one, right? It's it's the Valentine's Queen Deanne. She doesn't spin the hammer. She just puts up the wall instead, right? Um, okay. What we can do here is we can do the ultimate with Liz. Um, I'm going to do the attack card with Liz as well. Um, that'll bust strip. And then we can rip Melly Ultimate. Oh no, I guess we could rip Mel Melly Ultimate now. I, I guess we could do that actually. Yeah, we'll do we'll do that. And then we could do that. And then I guess I could waste this card too, right? Um, I don't think no, he doesn't do D rank on this phase. It's not D rank. It's oh no, he does. I think this is the detonate one though. I think this is detonate. I I'm gonna do this. If he D ranks Melly, it's fine. Cause Me Melly will just re rank up anyway, guys. We're we're not too wor worried about her uh, D ranking anyway or a Melly D ranking. All right, there we go. Look at that, man. That's like consistently keeping him at like no HP on the second floor. That's pretty crazy. That's honestly really good. Yeah, no, she is like for, for this team specifically on DK uh, or on uh, on Nidog. I think this is the best uh, Sins variant, Sins Demon variant you can run. Um, there we go. We do get stat stripped right there, but that does give us the critical defense. But then he buff strips it on the DK right there. Okay. Uh, we do cleanse right there. Let's do the ultimate with Liz. Oh no, I guess we'll do DK all first. All with Liz, we'll cleanse. And then we're gonna get D-ranked, but I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. I'm gonna stance up. I'm gonna stance up as well. Let's stance up. Uh, let's do DK all, all with Liz, and then we'll, all, uh, we'll do the cleanse. There we go. So now we're not going to have any debuffs or anything like that. We should be back to full HP. We can ult again with Liz next turn because we're going to get our ult back. Right? That, nah, this team is good. This team is really good. Like, th th this is like... I'm, I'm kind of shocked, man. I'm not going to lie. That's a is that Sandstrip? It's not. Okay, ultimate. Let's see. Let's see how much the ult does. Not a lot of damage, man. That's like 20% max. Right? Like, that's not a lot. Um, Melly's going to D rank right though. That's fine. Um, we're gonna rank up again anyway, right? We rank back up. We D-rank anyway to rank back up, guys. Look at that, man. So what we're gonna do here, uh, Elizabeth ult, and then we can just start attacking with Melly like crazy. Um, we could do Deanne ultimate now just to get another, uh, stack of that. Um, we could do single target. Or I guess we'll do, oh no, what, what AOE do the most here? That's what I'm trying to think. Um, let's do this, this. Um... I guess it doesn't matter. It's Meliodas, guys. It's Meliodas. I'm doing this. I, I think this will probably kill here. Let's see. So we heal up. We drop the ultimate right there. Boom. 88k. Not a lot from Deanne. Right? Not a lot from her. But uh, here we go. Meli. Wow. That's damage cap. Single target. That's damage cap without having his all creation. Hey, yo. That's pretty good, guys. That's honestly pretty good. Full health on everybody, too. Look at that, man. That's pretty good. I'm not going to lie, man. That's definitely pretty good. All right, let's try floor three now. Floor three is where we're going to have a little bit of a struggle, I think. Um, this is the floor where you might have a few issues. Uh, but we'll see, right? We'll see exactly like what issues we're going to have. It's mainly going to be f first first phase, right? It's mainly going to be first phase. Um, but maybe we could kill turn one. Could we kill turn one with 10% attack related stats? Now that I'm thinking, like, can we kill turn one, actually? Could we kill turn one? Hmm. I 
I don't know if this team can kill turn one, guys. I'll try. I'll try and I'll reset. I'll try and I'll reset. I just want to give it a try. 10% attack related stats? It's not enough. It's not enough, I don't think. Not even close. Because we're, we're damage capped. Yeah, we're damage capped as well. Um, okay, we don't need to like reset completely, I think. I think that's honestly fine. We, we can still let it rot. Okay, so we can't kill turn one. Uh, we don't have enough like attack related to do it. Um, Dan's obviously only giving 10%, so it's not that crazy. But, uh, yeah, I mean, right here, we're getting some, uh, you know, some basic stat build up from Deanne as we're getting hit. So that's really good. And then, uh, he's gonna buff up and then do the double attack, okay. Um, yeah, we definitely gotta get an ultimate with Elizabeth going. So I think what I'll do is I'll do, uh, this attack card right here. We'll do the stance with Deanne. And I'll do the buff card. We can seal the, the debuff attack cards from Demon King. I think that's fine um yeah that that could be good and we're gonna get ultimate with liz doing this uh, like setup so i think this is good and then i'll just uh i'll just do the attack with melee there i think that's fine um honestly i have zero understanding of the gimmicks for this phase something uh seals the first card you use goddess team uh one turn is a lifesaver oh yeah for sure man um the way the phase kind of works though is every third okay so the f pr pretty much right the first two turns is nothing special. It's just normal. You attack him. Um, if you can kill him when he's at zero, you can. But he's always going to increase his bar. Right? Uh, you guys can't see it because I have the chat open. But the bar on the left right here, right? He's going to have it increase. And the way that we decrease the bar is by using Pierce cards or ultimates. Those are going to be the ways to strip it super quickly. Right? And uh, right here on this third turn, this is where we get our cards sealed though. Right, this is where cards can get sealed. Um, because starting from the third turn, whenever he has this damage reduction buff, right? So this buff right here, final damage decrease. Um, whenever he has that, your card is gonna get sealed. So once I use this DK card, it gets sealed and it's gonna remove that damage uh you know decrease, right? That's how it works. So that's kind of how the fight goes, guys. But triple ultimate will fully shred the uh, gauge right there, so we could easily do that. Um, what I'll do then on this turn is we'll do um, let's see here. So how do we want to go about this? We're going to get ulted. So we're going to take a lot of damage. Um, I probably would want to... Here, let's do this. I think this is pretty good. And we still have the stance up. Yeah, and we'll get ultimate on everybody. Um, I, I would just have to move a DN card. So we'll do that, I think. And we'll get ultimate on everybody. I think that's good. But we'll top deck. So maybe I actually do rip this stance. I think I, think I might actually rip this stance just to top deck all the ultimates. Okay, let me do that. Let's do that. Let's seal this. Let's do that. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, I guess we're sealing stances, actually. I mean, that's that's fine, too. We're sealing stances, then, actually. Not my bad. Um, I forgot about... I forgot the first card, no matter what. <laughs> so, we're, we're sealing stances. That's fine. Um, we do the attack right there. Boom. And now, we're going to have ultimate on everybody. Okay, pretty good. And we have to remember, we have to stance remove. Right? We have to stance remove. Okay, let's see. We're tanking really well, though. This turn, look at that. Look at that tanking. That's honestly crazy. That's honestly crazy. Okay, so Melly's going to stand strip with this ultimate. DK is going to do his damage. We're going to do this. And then I'm going to do the Liz attack card, which is going to get us the full heal on everybody. It should be. All right, let's do that. This should be good, guys. Drop the ultimate. That's going to stance remove. We drop the ultimate with DK. We drop the ultimate with Queen Dian. And as you guys can see, look at the gauge. Zero. We attack with Liz, boom, we get the full heal. Easy, look at that, look at that, man. That's super nice, that's super nice right there. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, let's see. All right, so we do get the uh, the damage dealt on the boss right there. The only, remember, the only way we can cancel stance is by using Melly's Seed to the end. So that's the only way we're gonna be able to do that. Um, we can do AoE here. We can do Deanna attack card, Melly AoE. And then I'll alt with Liz. I think that's fine. Um, because then none of us will get a will get a stack. I think that's good. Um, I probably get an ulted first with Liz. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter regardless. We're we're kind of damage capped anyway. Um, so I don't think I needed to do that. But yeah, I mean, there we go right there. Single target AOE melee. That's gonna stand strip. There we go. And then we alt. Honestly, oh yeah, ulting last is actually good. Just in case we got the alt passive or the healing one. So that was actually a, a good play. Um, there we go. So we attacks onto Deanne right there. Should only attack Deanne. She is the lowest HP, right? We did we did give her triple defense, um, so she should be the lowest HP right there. Um, and then let's see what else we got going on. So stancing would lower his uh, gauge right there. Um, we do also need another stance removal for next turn. So we gotta kind of build that up now, right? 
Um, so let's do that. Let's do this. Um, let's do let's do this Liz attack card right as well. And then, or I guess we should attack with Melly earlier. Let's do this, this Liz attack card, and then we'll do DK attack. It looks like this team is as good as Goddesses. I wouldn't say it's as good. I think Goddesses is obviously going to be a lot better because you could just turn one that first phase. But it's still a really good team if you just want to mess around and have fun with DK Melly. Like this is just one of those fun teams you can mess around with for sure. Um, like look, look at the like look how good it is though. It, it is a good team for sure. Um, so I definitely recommend you guys use this if you don't want to build your Goddesses. Like this is a good good team to build. You know, like it's actually going to uh, get the job done. All right, there we go. He's going to stand up. Now we have him at three seeds at the end, so we can stand strip. So we just do a melee attack card right there. That's going to stand strip. We're going to get the rank up as well. Um, okay, the only bad thing about this, though, guys, is the boss is about to get his ultimate off. And remember, when he attacks after the fact, he has extort from his ult. So we could die right here. Um, we could actually die right here. Um, let's see how it goes, though. So we'll do the stand strip. We'll do the ultimate. Um, I think I could do the, the defense related just to try and tank it better. Um, we could, we could. And then I'll do DK attack. And that's an attack with everybody but Deanne. Deanne will have a darkness stack. I'm scared for her, but let's see. Maybe the basic stats is enough. Let's see. So we do the stand strip. Okay, we get the ultimate passive now. So whenever we use an ultimate, we lower the gauge. Okay. Defense related up as well. Single target with DK. All right, let's see how we're tanking, though. That's, this is what I'm really curious to see. This is after an ultimate, and we have one darkness stack. So we're going to take a lot more damage. Right, so he attacks us once. He ults. Let's see. Do we tank this? Do we tank this? This is darkness. Wow. Wow, we actually tanked that. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie, guys. Remember, it's shorty. He's taking our stats. Right, he's taking our stats when he does that. That's crazy. That's really, really good. Let's all with DK here. Let's all with uh, Dien. Let's, uh, yeah, we don't want to stand strip now, so we can't attack with Meli. Um, if we are to attack with Meli, we attack now. So maybe we do this, and then we do this, then we do this, and then we do. I'll do the Elizabeth attack card. I'll do the Elizabeth attack card, I think. And then next turn, we'll go for the stand strip. Yeah, yeah. I think that works out. I think that, I think that does work out. Let's do that. Because we're not going to get any more darkness attacks on, any, on anybody. All right, there we go. Oh, we're gonna give him zero on the gauge, actually. Oh wait, cause we're 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 alting. We're we're giving him zero on the gauge here. I found I could have maybe gone for the kill there, actually. I could have maybe gone for the kill there. Um, that's fine though. That's fine. We saw another turn. That's okay. Um, we just get our ultimate off with Elizabeth anyway. I think that's good. Um, and then moving into that final phase, guys. We're gonna need a lot of damage, right? That's what we're really gonna look for on that final phase, right? Um, okay, right here. Um, if Melly kills. I think a melee single target would kill you, right? Um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, stance up. Rank 3 melee single target removes the stances and should kill. Um, I don't know if that's how it's going to wor work, though. Like, uh, you know, in, in actual attacking. We'll, we'll see, though. L l let's try it out. So we drop the ult. We stance up with Dian for some extra damage dealt. And then we do the single target with melee. It's not enough. It's not enough. That's fine, then. That's fine, right? That's fine. We, we did that just in case it would kill or not. But, like, that's still good. Alright, there we go. He has Immortality again. We ult twice now, and we're good, and we can move into the next phase easily. Um, we do get the crit defense buff now, because we got attacked. Okay, pretty good. Now, nah, Goddess is way better and faster. For sure, for sure. Like, Goddesses is going to be a better team, but if you have this Deanne, and let's say you don't have Myeld, you don't have Freya, you don't have all these characters, I mean, this is going to be a really good second, second, tier, second tier option. You know, like, this is a really good setup. Um, let's do... Uh, all with Liz as buff. That's gonna be enough to shred it completely, I think. And we can just attack here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, Deanne attack and then one melee attack card as well. And that should be enough to just finish it off there, guys. Look, look at that. Pretty good. Pretty good. And we're already moving into the final phase here to get the kill. And this is all in one go, guys. Like, no resets, no nothing. This is all in one go. I could have reset, but uh, this is all in one go, man. Really good stuff right here. All right, let's see. So now we got, uh, you know, phase three. This is where it gets a little scary, I will say, right? Because the boss, whenever he does alt, he's going to do a lot of damage. He gets the ignites on us. Um, we always have to make sure we get him less than 30% HP as well. Um, and that's going to be very, very important too. So let's do the uh, ultimate with Melly here. Um, let's do the, uh, okay, wait, actually, no, we'll do this. We'll do this. All with Melly. We'll do a single target here. 
and I'm gonna rip Deanna, uh, Deanna Ultimate now as well. I um, mean, that should get us all the way to about 30% uh, left over. Wow, 800k. 1.3 million. No, no, uh, you know, all creation. No all creation. We did that. That's pretty good. And then Dan Ultimate, 152, not, not, or 156, not that crazy. Um, you know, we're not expecting like crazy damage from Dan. We're mainly expecting the uh, basic stats. And look at the tanking. Look at the tanking. It's, wor it's, wor it's working. It's definitely working. That 30% basic stats, you feel that. You feel that, right? It's a big bonus from like the Queen Dan variant, for sure. Um, we cleanse the debuff right there. That's really good. I'm going to DK ult here. I'm going to ult with Liz. I'm going to do the attack uh, card with Liz right there. And then I think, I think that might be enough. Or actually, maybe we do the ult first, actually. Just so DK does more damage on this. Because Melly's stand stripping, right? We don't want to stand strip too early. Um, Because he's going to get another stance. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, actually. Let's do this. Um, We'll do a uh, cleanse. And I will rip melee. And then next turn, we have to make sure we get it going, though. Um, okay, so let's do... Uh, I see he does have this card as well, which is D-Rank. So I'm going to do this so Liz doesn't get D-Rank. And then we'll do uh, melee single target. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, DK does a lot. 1.2 million. I'm not 6 out of 6 either. I'm 5 out of 6. So obviously, I do have a little bit, you know, extra damage versus, like, a normal DK. That's, like, 1. 1 out of 6, right? But, like, that's crazy. Look, look. On a rank two, on a rank two, he's at two point three million. We gotta see D rank. That only hits Melly. That only hits Melly. We're fine, and we're and we're gonna rank up again anyway if he goes for a debuff on all of us. All right, let's see. Okay, it's just two debuffs. It's just two debuffs. So we're not gonna get the full uh, thing yet. Yeah, we're not gonna get the full thing. He's gonna stand up next turn though, right? So we gotta do alts. Um, we gotta do this. Um, we gotta do this. And that's gonna be what two on the enemy? Yeah, I think that's fine. A, D a DK and a melee single target, I think at rank two will cut it. Let's see. This is no wall creation, guys. This is no wall creation. Let's try. Let's see if this is enough. Can melee clutch it for damage? DK, let's see. Single target. Okay, 800k melee. Let's see. Less than 30. Less than 30. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Less than 30 on an attack card. Let's see the ultimate. Okay, that does, a, that does a good chunk of damage. The Ignites is where it's going to be kind of bad, guys. Let's see. Now, let's see how much we're tanking. That did kind of a lot. That did kind of a lot. And then he's going to stand up. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now, what we do is we're going to do the Meliodas ultimate. I'm going to drop the DK ultimate, Liz ult, and then cleanse. And look at that. We're, we're cooking, man. Like, like this, is, this is a pretty good run so far. The no Dan card in Ages is crazy. We don't need them, though. We don't need them, though, right? You guys can see. We don't need them. We are literally cycling through ultimates with Ella Liz. And Deanne's here just giving us the basic stats. She doesn't need to attack anyway. And we're already at zero on the bar, guys. We're already at zero on the bar. Let me remove the chat. We're at zero on the gauge now. So we can go for the kill. Right? That's crazy. All right. Let's see. So he attacks Melly, And that's going to debuff everybody. And then... And then, yeah, Melly's gonna cleanse, get a rank up. It's GG. We've already won. We've already won, guys. Let's see the stats on Melly here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 111,000 attack is crazy on Meliodas, on Demon King Melly. You know, you like, that's, that's a lot, but you don't see that often, guys. Over 100k attack is crazy on DK Melly. Look at the sub stats. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. What's Deanne looking like? I'm curious to see her tanking. 40k, 40, 49, and then uh, 465 right there. Not bad. DK is at 78, right? Melly had a 111,000 attack. That was crazy, guys. 111,000 attack is insane, man. Um, yeah, now we just all with Liz right here. Um, we merge this, and that's it. <laughs> and he's dead. Let's see. Th th this is going to do a lot of damage. Let's see. Is, is Melly able to just alone one bang this guy with all creation? And easily, I think it's doable. <laughs> 3.7 million insta one bang the nidhogg demonic beast battle look at that guys that's insane i mean that goes to show to you how strong dn support is though the fact that we have that much tanking when we have that ignite off from the ultimate that that nidhogg does and we're tanking that like that's super insane so look at that man maybe this is your new you know nidhogg team if you guys want to mess around give it a shot man she seems really good